All right, we have a new game. Well, old old game, and it's uh, Stalker Clear Sky. So I thought you people like me to play retro games that in involve some shooting, and you especially like me to play horror games. So here here's something from from both. So the idea is that well. Stalker is, is a series of its own. It has definite homage to the to the Roadside Picnic, which is Arkady and Boris Strukatsky sci-fi book, Roadside Picnic. Uh, Stalker in other other languages, uh, Finnish as well. Uh, sci-fi book about uh, zones. Zones are paranormal locations around Earth, and it's believed that aliens have visited them where the roadside picnic games came from. But but the Ukrainian team did who didn't have a really license for the for the book. They uh, took the same idea and set it in the in the Chernobyl exclusion so second second disaster. So now no no it's radioactive and full of anomalies and with mutants and whatever. So that's that's kind of idea idea of this this game i'm not playing the i'm not playing the going to play the first game because it's like uh, the engine is a bit of trash fire and uh, since we have with a team gas gas ryhmä we are going to play the multiplayer multiplayer version of it so that's that's the general idea of this i'm using uh, SR, srp that's a sky reclamation project it's it's a modification that makes this clear sky a bit more playable. But I haven't played this through. Uh, I have only played the first first Talker game through. So in, in the end this is like a new new ground, ground for me. Now is Talker. Veteran Master. Uh, I'll, I'll go with that star something, but yeah. In actual fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is 2.13. He doesn't look look too good. Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly. Although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. Whoa. He's waking up. You're awake. That's good. Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? My head's splitting and spinning too. Basically, I'm in really a uh, real good Do you shape. Remember what happened to you? 
I remember leading an expedition through swamps, but society then the emission, that's it. Where am I? Is this heaven? And then why does it look so much like Joan? In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. Okay, we call sir. ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. Clear we Sky. We you up in the swamps after the emission. Okay, I got lucky then. Lucky? Hmm. I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo-dogs. But our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing. So let's continue this conversation later. Okay. So we survived the blast. Volume is my slightly slightly high. Okay, I have a flashlight. What's here? Norton, I think. So we are Scar and we are mercenary. And this is a <laughs> modification. Sleeping bag. And I don't have anything. That's the... So let's get to work. I need a gun. Talk to Barman. Barman, okay. It goes to, goes down pretty, pretty fast. Okay, so this is the clear sky base here. Sprint is X. Okay. F five is save game. Use is F, okay. Okay, can't can't use that. Bar man, where's the bar? I'm glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. You are not even looking at me. I've seen all the types of folks in the zone. People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil, others a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be or indeed are completely unpredictable. 
Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. So, but is the Young man, if only I had the answer to that question. We are studying the zone meticulously in hopes of finding it. The zone appeared as a result of the actions, let's call them misguided human actions, and we are unable to return to the status quo. The zone cannot be destroyed, nor will it disappear of its own accord. We, Clear Sky, believe that there is only one way to reconcile man with the zone. Coexistence. So, so in, in this game's lore, the humans actually made it. How can I best explain? Uh, let's put it like this. Any complicated system in nature, and that includes the zone, automatically seeks equilibrium in the absence of destabilizing external factors. That was the case here in recent years. The zone was stable and there were no significant deviations from the norm. And now? Now we've seen a gigantic emission that has changed the face of the zone. The system became unstable, distorted, a glitch of sorts. The zone is spewing out emission after emission and pumping itself full of energy with each one. So much so that the readings on my sensors oscillate with unbelievable speed. And unless we find a way of reversing this trend, the result will be a disaster of far greater proportions than the 1986 catastrophe. The most important lesson in all this is that this glitch is not a product of natural causes. This is human handiwork. And that's what we are attempting to find out. Perhaps knowing who disrupted the zone's equilibrium will give us a chance to prevent a disaster. Since man caused this mess in the first place, man may well be the only one able to set it right. In any event, I very much hope that is the case. I fear that question is not one I can answer. I suggest you address it to Lebedev. So, let's find the barman. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty large play area. Talk to the barman. Okay, so it's behind me. Important character, okay. What brings you here, ah, That's a that's a limited. To be, we must first speak to bar, bar, barman and then, then limit it. Look who we got. Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of God. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. Because I'm just dying of curiosity. So we, we talk to him. You drink and I'll tell you about this place. It used to be pretty quiet here. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material. But it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission. The biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. I was collecting bottles one after another and they let me here. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. The truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. He didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold around here. Cold. In our base. As you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back, or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's... Okay, he's, he's giving me a speech. 
He's like a walking encyclopedia. Was a Professor B. In one, knows more about the zone than well. Anyway, our technician's called Gray, and he can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. He knows what stalkers go through to get their loot, and he respects that. Kong, leave the Merc alone with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, brother, if Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Okay. Well, I'll catch you later. I suppose we are going to get that job. What do you want, anyway? Yes, I... I, I can't. <laughs> I can't read. The doc doctor here. Well, boss man is here. Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on the situation. Better. You're in the Clear Sky Base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. So now they need to start again. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now... You can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. I see. How can I help you? I guess the wall can hold a gun. How do I get out Getting of here? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. Okay, what are you trying to say? We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro at that sort of thing. Your experience can save the lives of many This is the second outpost. We're under attack. Dirt, dirt, dirt. We're under attack. Help. Okay. That's enough chit-chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? I remember bits Great. and pieces. Get over to the trader and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Okay. So now trader, we need... A fighter is on his way to you. Issue him with all the equipment he'll need for the mission. 
Roger that. Visitor? I'll be right there. At last. Here, take this basic equipment. Too. Shotgun. So, so, no. And my car of echo detector. And the radiation drugs. Nice. I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. Yeah, I'm gone. So, uh... So, let's... Check what we have. We have shotgun, pistol... Again, glad to see you. Old boots and something else. I wonder if we can loot loot this place. I, I'm 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 find <laughs> be a pretty bad hoarder in these games. What? Okay, not everyone is uh, voice acted. Timka Napoleon. See you later. Okay, everyone is, is a trader in this game. Can trade stuff. Okay, can't can't take my weapon weapon out. So let's see if there's like open containers or something. Okay, these guys have a like uh, civilian shotgun. You have my full attention. Ready to go to the out outpost. I'm ready. I'll blindfold you until we arrive there. You understand, okay? Time, bro. I'm real low on ammo, so let's make the best of it together. Magarov is horrible pistol. Attention on fire. Any mission is approaching. Get to cover now. <sighs> okay. Okay, he died. Cover. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tasks cancelled. Okay. So I die, or faint out, or or something. Oh no, I'm I'm pleading. Get to cover now. Uh. 
Oh no. Submerge safe, okay. Return to clear sky base. I wonder if I did something wrong. I have still everything I just took. I'm I'm still bleeding. Bleeding. Use this. Okay. So what's the quick key for the bandage? Quick bandage, Trima. Okay, he was walking on the roof. I see you. Hello, Mr. Two Emissions, and I'm. Oh, everything is red. Hello, Mr. Two Emissions. St secret status for your money. have that much of cash. Okay, so... Condition... Everything is red. So I can... I can... I can tra oh, okay, he doesn't have any, any money. Well, that sucks. Anytime you feel like chatting. Let's go to talk to Bossman and ask what what went went wrong. You survived the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities. Unusual. It's how you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point that our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Bebe, don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. Oh no. A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo, a place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. It's hard to say. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith, others say the wish grinder. The more unpretentious ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time, but I don't know what's there now. What I can say is that the scorcher appeared for a reason. It prevents the center of the zone from being reached. People cannot go beyond the brain scorcher. I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if you consider the emissions to be a defensive reaction, then the answer is obvious. Someone made it through the scorcher, and the emission was the zone's response. And since the emissions haven't stopped, whoever it was must still be alive. The zone is trying to get them, and it's killing everything that's alive in the process. Okay. That explains something. I know a lot about this zone, but I can't share everything with you. You'll just have to trust me on some things. Uh -huh. A system, any system, 
needs to be in equilibrium. Well, that's natural. The zone is unstable right now, and this instability is increasing. If the constant emissions aren't stopped, the zone will become so unstable that a new disaster will occur. Which brings us to what Clear Sky is doing. We are trying to prevent that disaster. I'm clear the sky. Prevent the disaster, you are not <laughs> strong enough to fight off right. bandits. But we or do dogs. know how to prevent the disaster and stop the emissions. And that means something. We have to find out who was in the center of the zone and stop them at any price. There's a strange connection between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. My gut feeling tells me that your abilities, your gift, your curse, call it what you will. They mean you can get through places that others wouldn't even dream of. And at the moment, we need to act very quickly. I knew you'd ask that. The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. Well, that's... Help us and you'll save yourself. Yeah, that sounds really good. Now, this may sound like a line from a corny movie, but you really don't have a choice. Unfortunately, yes. So, will you help us? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Then listen carefully. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in this zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Kordon was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. That's all we have for the moment. But it's a lead. Through these swamps, of course, how else? But remember what I said. After the emission, a whole army of all kinds of scum turned up in the area. Now they control almost everything. We are under siege, and I'm not exaggerating one bit. So before we can help you get to the Kordan, we have to regain control of the swamps. And with your help, I think we should be able to do it. Okay, so we need to kill kill more stuff in, in the... He has a mutant dog. Over here. <laughs> okay, this is his place. Can't, can't take anything. I suppo suppose we are going to play it nice. Wait a minute, reaching a creature swamps is easy. All guards will lead you out, but you want to actually survive there. You need to learn about current tactical situation on and your PDs new PDAs need features. It's a tactical situation. Shit. To into deep shit. Bandits and monsters. Reduce enemy numbers. Or shoot down as many possible of those who are shooting at us. Great tactic. What are you doing here, kid? Try to get some rest. Your main guide is the objective section. Okay. Your main objective is displayed here. Together with a selected additional objective. There can be several additional objectives which you can cycle through using these buttons. Most objectives are also displayed on the map, with the exception of rare occasions when your objectives cannot be located. We will need your help with not only destroying the enemy, but also capturing key positions. In these situations, our fighters will be grateful if you provide covering fire as they capture a position. By the way, don't ignore calls for help. Our boys' lives could be at stake. Hovering over a mark on the map will display additional information. In addition to your objectives, friendly units and identified enemies will also be displayed on the map. Okay, as I'm sure you understand, our main objective is to establish control over the swamps. And that means a war against the aggressor. This section allows you to access tactical information about combat operations at any time. Information about your current faction is displayed on the left. Right now, that's us. Clear sky. Information about the main enemy is displayed on the right. This shows our approximate combat strength. This shows how many fighters we have. And this is our equipment supply. Not going well. Similar indicators are also shown for our enemy. 
Finally, this field allows you to see the current strategic mission as well as tactical objectives that must be achieved in order to complete the strategic mission. Completed strategic missions will be displayed at the bottom. The last tab allows you to view your current relations with all factions as well as each faction's combat strength. You your personal stats are also displayed here. Basically, uh, anomaly That's modification for Call of Pripyat was was based on this idea that there's like several factions you can you, you can join and and fight fight between each other. Okay, so they would give me coordinates if I had money. Collect your re reward. Okay, where's the reward? Oh, okay, it's, it's on the bottom. Store manager. Then we go back to the swamps. I probably die again. Hello there. Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What come you with? Yeah, I heard your story. I reckon the main thing is that you're still alive. Stuff is easy enough to replace, so long as the zone is kind to you. So, you gonna trade, or you got some questions for me? That's the sort of people we are. You can't buy an extra 15 minutes of life, or a spare store from death. But us traders are needed everywhere. Even in the zone, even in the swamps, and even underground. It's an illusion that the zone is under lock and key, and the army has all the ways in and out sealed. I mean, think about it. Nowadays, artifacts and rare specimens from the zone can be found all over the world. And your fellow stalkers never have a shortage of canned meat, vodka, ammo, or equipment. Somebody's got to be responsible for all that, right? <laughs> well, that's where we come in. In this place, it ain't like selling bootleg CDs on the outside with the cops up your ass every damn day. Around here, the situation is very simple. The outside world has an interest in the zone and vice versa, but it's officially forbidden, prohibited, and all that bullshit. That's what we're here for. We make sure all those interests are satisfied and every selling happy. speech. There's a joke among traders that if someone points a gun at you, the best bet is to try to buy it off them. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. You have no idea how tired I am of peddling these trinkets. Uh, who knows? Maybe stalkers have already found everything there is to find. Man, getting behind the Scorcher would be a dream. I heard you can get enough artifacts there to last you a lifetime. Uh, provided your life doesn't end there and then. It's about time well, the yeah. traders <laughs> joined forces and used our connections to find a way of getting past that thing. Yeah, I know. Anyway, listen, I told you too much as it is. Time is money. So if you want to trade, go ahead. If not, I'll see you around. Okay, data on the Superlight Kevlar body armor. Slug shells. Uh, nice. Uh, okay, so these are his, his items. Yes, some bandages. Some first aid kit. Very poor. Shotgun and pack. Couple macarons I could actually sell. Fifty, fifty rubles. Ah, uh, not great. Last time I tried with the data for light Kevlar body armor. Have a safe trip. So, what? How do I? Flash drive. I wonder how I use this. Probably somebody can do them. Okay, so mechanic. Mechanic is the is the one who can do something with them.
You're with us again. Glad to see you. Too bad we can't loot here. Okay, what's what's in here? some graves here and I wonder what's beat the beeps Okay, so these guys... Guarding the back door to the store. I see. Okay, so not all of these are marked as uh, important characters. Good, good to know. I'm glad to see you, young man. You look considerably... You already have a basic understanding of... It's true, some of your abilities, such as motor skill... Regrettably, no. The... Alas, that is all. The only other thing I can do for you is answer any questions you may have. People are mistaken in... I would need a better, Welcome better gun. Stalk, stalker energy drink. What's new, bro? Okay, coordinates. And he has some Stop by for food, but it's he, he's totally broke, so can't can't pay. You know, can't buy anything of me. Okay, that's a toilet. What's in here? Need something upgrade? What's up? How's going, Mr. Fixit? See for yourself. There's hardly any equipment. It's like life after a nuclear war. If we do get a hold of something, it's about to fail anyway, and there ain't shit around to use for spare parts. That's why I'm having to adapt whatever I find and use it as best I can. Only last week I needed to make a radio receiver. What do you think I use for parts? That's right, a goddamn fridge! <laughs> I'm not sure whether to laugh or cry. Yeah, there ain't much to get excited about around here. Not like the garbage. I heard they dug up old Soviet caches. After the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, they sent convoys there with contaminated vehicles and equipment and all sorts of other crap. They thought it was all waste because it was radioactive. That was then. Nowadays, nobody would even call that radiation. So there's a real gold rush going on there. Stalkers are flocking over there from all over the zone to dig for loot. It's a pity not much of it filters through down here, unless Lebedev sent the boys to pick up specific components. <laughs> okay, so they are using radioactive components. Nothing special. I repair and upgrade weapons and suits. Basically, I do whatever needs getting done. If you need something fixed, I'm your man. Yeah. If I could get a few spare parts, I would make the guy some real nice toys. Weapons, armor, equipment, I'd take them all to a whole new level. Remember, if you bump into something useful, bring it here, and I'll do it all real nice. That's a promise. <laughs> okay, so... Leather jacket. HK, MP5, okay. Oh, 
Спутники единственно должны догадаться и понять ее хочет не ради своего мира. So I can upgrade guns. Let's recoil. I don't think I should go and upgrade Magaro. Okay, so ah, so it, it can actually he can actually rebarrel the uh, gun to fire a bigger, bigger bullet. That's actually that's actually possible. I don't think I should do it for the Magaro, but anyway. I'll be there in a moment. Can we go through here? Old, old radios and stuff. Okay. So, what is it that you need? Better, better weapons, for example. You have my full attention. Okay, we need to take this and Mark, defend this. It looks this. like you're at the great swamps now. Be extremely careful and don't try to be a hero. Check out your PDA. You should find the location of our squads there. I suggest you get yourself over to the fishing hamlet. That's where they are. Only some mutants here. Nothing much. Only some some dead guys here. Okay, you are just a prop. You can you can can't be searched. Missing Hamlet, so I need to go yeah that way. Just go through here. Eliminate the enemy old church. Ouch. 
Ouch. Ouch. Oh no. Quite, quite snipers these, these en enemies. Bam, bam, it's whatever. Okay, they are <laughs> coming close. Track, so we, we can track these. If I want it. We barely held them off! Facing Hamlet. Okay, so sh he was shooting shotgun at us. You lots of uh, mutants. Okay, maybe this is slightly dangerous place. What we are doing? Okay, we are doing with the... Hello. Where are the little shits hiding? Okay, these are our, our guys. What are you doing? Keep okay. on guard! Stay down and wait. We got them up good! Here we go again! When will it stop? Okay, so that's a pumping station. Can't can't throw through the Like to have a do toggle on the on the crouching. Can we can we make the toggle as that so, so I, I can just cr crouch. P press it once and ju just crouch. Um, always crouch. Okay, is that a? Okay, so this is the to toggle basically. Either gun or or the screw. And now I'm crouching basically. So clear the road. Look out tower. Apparently this game has lots of lots of side side quest. Save.
Is this clear yet? Probably not. Okay, that's a that's a cleared one. Take all some bread. Okay, that's a friendly. Nice fight. Okay. Base, we've dislodged the enemy. Okay, so you can't just open everything. Position captured. Over. PSO1 scope. Nice, but I don't have a gun for it. That's a that's a nice nice loot, but I don't have a gun for it. Although it's 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 nice scope. I I have used it once once in, in uh, real life. What you need, stalker? Okay, so guys are moving in when I have done all, all the work. I got over rounds. But these are useful. I could actually change my weapon depending how condition is okay ish. This porter, porter, porter. One enemy left, I think. Oh, he's, he's shooting over the rock. There's like one guy. Okay, so they are shooting over the rock. Keep on guard. Okay, I suppose we lost some guys. It looks all quiet to me. Huge amount of shotguns. Yeah, they, these these try to be clever. Okay, we, we lost several guys. Okay, now we have a better shotgun. Yes, 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 yes. I'll put it in good, good use. Okay, so this is double barreled. Okay, so we got, got something from that box. What are we using, by the way? Buckshot and slug. Okay, what? That guy is shooting somewhere. Pump station. Backpack on a trail. Okay, nice. Going about the right direction. Okay, what's that? Not scary at all. <laughs> nice, we nice weather, yes. Definitely nice, nice weather. And that was like, what, 15 minutes ago. 
<laughs> Cap nearly said. To to total immersion on the, uh, this game. Okay, so the, the okay, so that that group actually cleared the place. Okay, that's that's empty. Stuff's happening here before I get to the place. Well, maybe I was kind of sidetracked. <laughs> 